My wife likes me to help around the house, but she doesn't ask me to clear the table because I'm a physics demo guy. I do the tablecloth first. That worked pretty good, but those are dishes I got at DI. Let's see that in slow motion. Everything does move, but it comes to rest pretty quick. Now let's try it with the paper plates. Oh, they really went airborne. In slow motion, it's a little different. You know, I really learned something from this. When I do that, I put a wave in the tablecloth. The wave throws the dishes up in the air. They don't have a chance. I might have to figure out another way to do this demonstration. Inertia ball. Got a little ball, you sit it on top of a piece of plastic on top of a holder. Pull back the spring and flick it out. Pretty good, huh? Let's see it in slow motion. Wow. Not quite as pretty, but pretty effective. Newton's cradle. I love this demonstration. You know, you take one ball and you let it go. One comes out the other side. There it is. Pretty cool. Let's do it in slow motion. Gravitational potential energy converted to kinetic energy. Transfer of energy through collisions. Kinetic energy to gravitational potential energy. Back to kinetic energy. Here comes the collisions. And there we go again. That's beautiful. Now let's try three at a time. Three in, three out. Here we go. Here comes the three in. Now wait a minute. I saw something different there. Let's see that again. First one comes in, collides, goes back and collides again. Ah, I've never seen that before. Boom, boom. There it goes. That transfer of energy is a little different than I thought it was. This time I'm going to let one go on one side and two on the other. Yeah, I like that. Look at the slow motion video. You can see I let the one go a lot sooner than the other two. It collides. Another collision. Another collision. There comes two back. First time I did that on accident. I do it on purpose now. I like it in high speed. Boom, 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 boom. That energy transfer can be kind of complicated when you slow things down. This is one I do just for fun. You know, I like the sound it makes. Let's see it in slow motion. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten collisions. Ten collisions each time. Now I'm going to do the stacked ball drop. Take a basketball, put a little bouncy ball on top of it, and drop them. Let's see what happens. The bouncy ball goes way up in the air. The basketball didn't go very high. But what does it look like if you slow it down? First thing I notice is that bouncy ball falls slower than the basketball. That's because air drag affects it more. There's the transfer of energy. The basketball didn't go very high, but look at that bouncy ball go. You know what else I notice? Those lights sure are flickering. That's because my spotlights aren't bright enough to overcome the room lights. Look at that exit sign. Man, that thing flickers. It must be an LED sign. Now I try three stack balls with the little one on top. That shot it up pretty high, didn't it? Slow motion. 
First thing I notice is that the top two don't keep up with the basketball again. Energy transfers. Look at that little one go. It's got the energy from both of the others. Is it going to make it clear to the ceiling? Yeah, just barely it did. Chaotic Pendulum. Now this is a fast demo. I really like it. You've got two black bars connected to the one blue one. Those two bars can transfer their energy and make the little one go like crazy. You don't want to stick your hand in there. You know, it looks like it's about slowed down and then it takes off again. It's crazy. Now, here it is in slow motion. I could slow this down further, but I think this is slow enough to see what you need to see. The unbalanced hoop's up next. This hoop has a big steel mass in one side of it. When you throw it, it throws pretty weird. Let's look at it in slow motion. You know, it looked like it went in a square. Physics tells me it had to go in a parabola if I was to measure the center of mass, but and it didn't look like it. Bead siphon. This is my wife's favorite demonstration. Take the beads and start them out. It's a long 50-foot chain of beads. Here it goes. You know, the weight on the end just keeps it going till it's all gone. But in slow motion, it sure lasts a lot longer. And you get to see all the details. It's beautiful. Look how high it's going above the rim of the glass now. That's because the beads falling are accelerating down and speeding them up. They go up higher and higher. That's it for part two of the November Demo Show. If you want to see more, there's still more videos.